Hi Aquarius and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be channeling messages focusing on what blessings are coming in your direction in the month of July. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexa Tarot and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike. Thank you for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. If you can please continue to like, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages. All right, Aquarius, as I said before, I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on what blessings are coming in your direction in the month of July. But I'm also going to take a look here at what mindset do you need to have in order to maximize these blessings. All right, that was the last deck that I needed to shuffle, and let's begin. All right, Aquarius, let's take a look. What blessings are coming in the direction for Aquarius here in the month of July? What blessings are coming here for Aquarius? Now, remember, guys, this is a general reading, um, but let's see. This could be in any aspect or area of your life, all right? Blessings. We have here fulfillment. There's a sense of fulfillment or an extra heightened sense of feeling of satisfaction here as a blessing in the month of July for you. And that's the reason. And the reason is because you have been patient. You have been waiting for quite some time in order to receive something, some sign from the universe, from God, from creator, from fate. There's a sense of having to wait. And finally here in this month of July, it's coming in for you. Okay. Now, what I'm also feeling here um, with this uh, with this fulfillment card is that there's a sense of something that you've been waiting for, uh, whether it's a decision, uh, something, email, some answer, and you know whether it's career, in love, or in some other aspect of your life. There's a sense here of having this outcome kind of like come out fine. So whatever it is that maybe you were waiting for, um, kind of like either a sign from the universe, you know, give me a sign if this is the right path that I'm taking, or you're waiting for a decision to come in, or you're waiting for some type of news. I feel here that whatever it is, it's, um, it's a positive outcome. So that could be also for some of you, another blessing here, another uh, message here for you, like whatever it is that you were thinking about, wishing, hoping, it's like, it's a yes. It's coming forward. Now, you guys saw that I was shuffling and two cards popped out of the deck. You have the three of swords and you have the star card. So what blessings are coming in your direction in the month of July? Well, three of swords is all about the heartbreak, the loss, uh, the feeling of sadness. Perhaps some of you may have had disagreements, okay, in your past or recent past. There may have been a divorce, a breakup, or something here for some of you now, whether that's in career, whether that's in love or in some other element or uh, aspect here of your life. But this three of swords energy, it's like you in the month of July, you're going to see and understand why something had to break or why there was this uh, termination or uh, or arguments or just this constant uh, battle of the minds here um, with the three of swords. It says, I see things as they are. Uh, as they are. Okay. So you see things exactly as they are. So there's a sense of understanding. Okay. A higher awareness here of understanding why did those relationships break for you? Um, for some of you, why did you leave your job or why were you laid off or why, you know, there's a sense of understanding the why of something that was a little bit heartbreaking here or that caused some type of pain. Again, fulfillment is uh, a blessing here so it's kind of like overshadowing this three of swords energy okay this trumps it now what's interesting as well is that you also have the star card so the star is all about this uh, element of healing mending wishing hoping desiring things coming in your direction now i'm going i'm going to read here what it says it says i am inspired and positive about the future so there's going to be this hopeful outcome that you're going to, uh, in, a, in a way, embrace here in the month of July, all right? So it doesn't matter here that you have this uh, Three of Swords energy. What matters is that the blessing that's coming is going to help you heal 
and help you understand why certain things had to take the turn that it did in your past or recent past. Let's take a look at more blessings that are coming in your direction here, Aquarius. What else is coming in for you here in the month of July as far as blessings? You have happy family. Yeah, there's a sense of fulfillment. Remember that I said that something's going to go your way? So some of you, you have here victory. And that came, uh, actually, I'll take that. I'm being called to take that as well. That came uh, very loud and clear here with this fulfillment card. It's like something that you've been waiting for, an answer to something. It's like, it's a yes, okay? So you're going to either have a happy outcome or you're going to have a victorious outcome here. As far as happy families are concerned, there's this sense of closeness. So whatever that you may be experiencing here in regards to emotions, in regards to your family, your partner, okay? Um, being closer to friends that feel like family, but there's this sense of unity that's coming in your direction as a blessing here in the month of July. Let's take a look at the next deck. What other blessings are coming up here for Aquarius in the month of July? There's a sense of relaxation that I'm getting here with this happy family. So for the month of July, there may be this kind of laid back feeling like uh, being able to take time to smell the roses with your family, with your children, if you have children, with your friends, kind of like being able to connect more, have a sense, of, have a, a, a more of a closeness connection here with the people that you love. Let's take a look here. Answers. I mean, guys. Talk about uh, confirmation. Remember that I said here, there are some answers here that some of you have in the back of your mind. And you're kind of like, is it going to be yes? Is it going to be positive? Is it coming in my direction? Answers are going to be coming in for you as a blessing in the month of July. And it's going to all be focusing on a new start or a new beginning that you may be going through. Okay, there may be some new opportunities here as far as a start of something or a restart of something here, okay? Let's take a look here at what mindset you need to have here in order to maximize these beautiful uh, messages and beautiful blessings you have coming in for you in the month of July. Very beautiful reading all through and through, okay? Again, Three of Swords here is perhaps maybe the only one that really talks about pain. Uh, it talks about, uh, you know, uh, differences of opinion but even that is coming in uh with the star card right right uh right after it so it's again uh healing from that pain and healing from those uh moments there all right let's take a look here so healing uh is more of an energy of blessing that's coming in for you also in the month of july expect a miracle have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered i mean guys talk about confirmation yet again answers answers two different decks you guys see here how much i shuffle so this is not a coincidence there are no such things uh, as coincidences everything happens for a reason and that's what my team kept telling me and kept making me feel there's something that you've been waiting for an answer to maybe it's a prayer uh, maybe it's some type of manifestation that you've been trying to manifest certain opportunities now is the time here in July that you're going to start seeing things happen. For some of you, I'm getting that you've been praying for a child. So those of you that are having difficulties conceiving here, there may be this uh, energy that I'm, it's coming as a child, like having children, okay? Adopting children, having children, expanding your family, okay? For others of you, this could be anything that you've been praying for, visualizing, um, and have been, in a way... Uh, hoping, wishing, and praying for, and something is going to uh, come here in your direction as far as positive outcome. Again, that is what I felt here at the beginning, and that is exactly what's kind of in a way pointing confirmation after confirmation with each card that comes out of the deck. All right, so let's take a look. What mindset do you need to have here in order to maximize your blessings here in the month of July, Aquarius? We have... I am worthy. Okay. So how do you find, how do you define your sense of self-worth? Okay. What is it, what is it about yourself that you love the most? Focus on that energy because whatever you project is whatever you get. So whatever positive energy that you are projecting, self-respect, 
uh, the ability to make positive decisions, the, the, the energy of focusing that things will turn out uh, to, you know, to your benefit is a very important part here that I'm getting here as I'm holding this card for you. This is all about believing that things are going to turn out, that the universe is saying yes to you, that the universe is sending this positive answer in your direction. Aquarius, I hope that these messages were insightful. Click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family and click down here for more messages. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.